Here we are, back in the Peak District for another BMC Respect the Rock film. I'm Louis Parkinson and I'm going to talk to you about climbing at Stanage. So, here we go. Stanage has loads of climbing options, from trad to bouldering, and the rock type is gritstone, so get ready for really tiny footholds, some slap-worthy slopers, and some pretty unique moves in general. This rock type is very conditions dependent, so make the most out of those cool days to maximise friction. Ring ouzel restrictions are in place during the spring and early summer. Now these conditions change frequently as the birds have multiple broods and any climbing restrictions will be signed on site, like this. Uh, also, if you're bringing along any furry companions, keep it on lead, just to avoid disturbing the natural wildlife. Stanage is one of the most popular bouldering and trad venues in the UK, catering for all tastes and levels. Uh, there are three car parks, but space is limited and they can fill up quite quickly on busy weekends, so arrive early to grab a space, and if it's full, don't ditch your vehicle on a verge and damage the environment and block access for emergency vehicles. Have a backup plan, and if the car park is full, head to a different crag for the day. Always use a bouldering mat to help slow ground erosion and to protect your fall should you explode off a climb. Uh, small gritstone holes are really fragile when wet or damp, also much harder to climb on, so look after the rock and avoid bouldering in particular when the rock isn't dry. Due to the high friction, you can use a lot less chalk than normal, and when it comes to brushing, only do it gently and with soft brushes. Don't forget to clean off any chalk when you've finished on a problem. The big white holds might look fine to us climbers, but to other visitors, they can really stand out in the landscape. Avoid using tick marks, folks. They can spoil the experience for other climbers. Instead, just read the rock really carefully, try and take note of small details and features, and then try and remember those before you pull on. Correct toilet conduct is becoming an increasing issue around climbing areas. There are toilets near the plantation car park, so if you need a number two, do it there rather than squatting at the crag. Crashing in your van or pitching up is not allowed at Stanage, and you can risk damaging the access agreements between climbers, land managers and the locals. So be respectful and help the local economy by staying at a campsite like the fantastic North Leeds campsite, just below the crag instead. Absolutely no fires or barbecues. These can easily result in wildfires across the moorland, so bring some crag snacks instead and save the gourmet dishes for home. Stanage is a beautiful climbing area and iconic for so many reasons. We really hope you enjoy visiting this world-class crag, but above all else, give it the respect it deserves and do your bit to look after it while you're here. Thanks for watching, and any extra information regarding access or the crag itself, search RAD Stanage. Right, hope you found this useful. I'm going to go and get climbing. Bye, everyone.